Hey, this is Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat and Drone Adventures, and it's the uh, what the end of a three-day weekend. Everybody else probably had a great time. If you did, thumbs up. If you didn't, and you're like me, and you had to stay home or you had bad weather, you know that's what happens. But I always like to turn a negative into a positive, and so I've decided to put together a, a new product review. So let's get started. Take a look at this. Let me introduce you to the star of the show, this. This is a 12 volt uh, hot water kettle. Element is inside in the bottom there. It has a light on the back here. You can see it right there in the center. That's a light, a LED light that lights up when it's red, when it's being, uh, when it's working and green when it's finished heating up. It heats up, get this, it heats up to, I just tested it, it heats up to 197 degrees Fahrenheit. That's enough to scald you. It plugs into a standard cigarette lighter adapter. It has, uh, as a fuse, it uses one of the glass fuses. There you go, your glass fuse. One of the things, the unique things about this is it has a, a pour spout. So when you tip it over, you release this and the liquid comes out of here. One thing, if you decide to go ahead and get this, this is not a thermos. Like you can't screw this top on and expect water to not come out. It requires you to at least have it upright like this. If you have it down on its side, if you have enough liquid in there, it's going to leak out. It leaks out because it has an escape valve, uh, a hole in the, in the cap that allows the steam to escape so this is not watertight not it will it will leak but when you have it on a boat you can have it in a, an excellent mounting system that I'm going to show you right now this is a mounting bracket so here it is mounted the other thing that makes this a really friendly boating coffee system or hot water system is how you're going to drink it. I'm not a fan of bringing on things that can cut you, be cut, damage the boat, stab somebody, break, get lost, step on, hurt your feet. I wanted something that would be boat friendly. Check this out. One hundred percent silicone cups, squeezable, handle hot fluids, flat bottoms. Two of these will fill up this. light you need a coffee filter you need some coffee you need your hot water heater you need a measuring device and you need this a little tiny zip tie put them all together and this is what you get Wow, that's hot. Wow. I, uh, I'm, I'm not going to drink that. It's too, that's too hot. <laughs> so at the 139 degree mark, that's, I can, I can drink the coffee around that.
that would be really good if I was out on the boat right now in the cold weather with some uh, overcast and wind spray and a jacket on. That would be really good right now. Well, I fished the, uh, I guess you would call this the coffee ball. I fished it out of there and just washed it out. It works perfectly. Time to make the coffee. <laughs> Nothing like multiple cups of uh, hot coffee on a cold day. Today is kind of cold. So I would say that the combination of these little these little cups, that holder, and that 12-volt uh, water heater carafe or whatever you want to call it is a win-win. So what do you think? For me, it's been a great and absolutely indispensable tool aboard my boat now. I can make hot water, I can make it for, I can make it for hot water for washing your face, for washing your hands, uh, soup, couple noodles, uh, and especially coffee. I'm a huge coffee drinker and I always end up bringing something with me in a thermos, it gets cold. Uh, it's in a paper cup. It disintegrates. I leave it in the I leave it in the car, and I come back, and it's all disintegrated into my cup holder. So this thing has been really good for me. Uh, you don't have, of course, get the cups, but they make it so much easier. No more styrofoam cups and things like that. Just have those things. They wash out really easy. They bend. They're not going to rust. I love it. So. This is my product review. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. hope you had a great three-day weekend, and I'll see you the next time. This is Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat and Drone Adventures. Aloha.